the ringside is Chris O'Connor. Upon the bell, the third man of the ring is our scoring referee, introducing Mark Lyson from Liverpool. Boxing out of the blue corner on my right hand side. This tonight is fight number 17 of his professional career. He's on the scales at 11 stone, 9 pounds, 11 ounces. He's wearing the white shorts trim with gold. Boxing out of Aberystwyth, Wales. Please welcome Sean Gorman. And across the ring, boxing out of the red corner. His official weight for this contest is 10 stone, 9 pounds. This tonight is fight number two of his professional career. Wearing the black shorts trimmed with red, and boxing out of Barrow in Fairness, Cumbria, introducing Callum Pearson. <laughs> Referee Mark Lyson with his final instructions. This a super middleweight contest, scheduled for four three-minute rounds. Four rounds in the light middleweight division, Callum Pearson taking on Sean Gorman. From one extreme to the other for Callum Pearson. Uh, made his professional debut just over a year ago against um, William Warburton, who fights almost every week. Taking on Sean Gorman tonight, who's not fought for five years. So from one extreme to the other tonight, isn't it, for uh, Callum? Yeah, absolutely. Um, second professional fight, obviously we're looking to pick up the win. Um, but he's fighting against a guy, like you say, that's not been here for five years. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Yeah, Pearson, if you've probably never seen him before, if you tune into the stream, aggressive, tries to move his head and come forward. Looks in pretty good condition as well compared to his debut. Looks like he's trimmed down a lot and really got himself into shape, almost yeah. as if he went back to a drawing board after that debut. Yeah, following his social media, you can actually see that he's really been training hard. You know, he's really dedicated himself. Um, and already he's sort of showing signs that, you know, he's made some great improvements in the past 12 months. He charged into Warburton on his debut, probably hyped up by the occasion. A bit of a fatal mistake, really. William knows exactly what he's doing. He's fighting McCauley McGowan later on the show tonight, and I think he'll probably give McCauley a good a good workout over eight later, and to face him on your debut is a bit of a task. Um, ambitious matchmaking from Kieran Farrell. He, he doesn't do it unless he thinks the lads can win, but um, Callum just had to go back to a drawing board, and he, he looks a lot calmer tonight. So just gets clipped with a left yeah. up there from Gorman. Good counter left that from Garmin. Steve talking to much on the Facebook stream. No, Ben Sheedy's not been on yet. He's coming up later on tonight. Top him a bill. It could turn into a, a little bit of a street fight, I think, with Alistair Warren. Alistair can knock people out. Ben can knock people out, and they both come to fight. Gorman just looks like he's trying to feel his way back into this, doesn't he? It's a long time yeah. to be out five years. Yeah, I mean, looking at what he's done so far, he's actually not done too bad to say he's been out for five years. You know, he's actually caught Callum with a few, but I think Callum's left himself open as well a little bit at times when he's been throwing them left hooks in, so you need to tighten up a little bit, I think. Still, look like, still looks like he's got the trainers from last time. <laughs> Got it in him to be a, a pretty exciting sort of fight at Callum, I think. You know, he can he, he wants to make it a high contact fight, doesn't he? Or he wants yeah. to get into range. He's trying to set a quite relentless pace against Gorman. Um Gorman's working, you know, he's working all right on the back foot. He's trying to throw them counter lefts in. Nicely up on his toes, Callum as well, nice and light. It looks a different fighter actually from the Warburton one where he just caught caught a bit flat-footed and square and ended up slugging. Nice bounce to his feet. Let's see if he can keep that up over the duration. Not an easy thing to do. Gemma Ray is watching. Veteran of the shows, Gemma. Dave Jennings, Lee Carter. Did a little turn on commentary earlier. And some VIP faces in the crowd tonight as well. We've got Luke Blackledge fighting Zach Parker in a couple of weeks. Zelfa Bauer, Lyndon Arthur. 
Jimmy Kelly, I can see over there. Quite a good turnout tonight for yeah, the first real show of the new season. Yeah. Steve Lillis from Box Nation will be joining us for the next fight. Uh, we're going to have Zell for jumping on for the Bilal Ratman fight. Andy Kremner, Creme de la Creme, dressed in some terrible clothes tonight. He's going to jump on for the Kane Gardner fight. Ten seconds, Corus. Billy Warren. Uh, have I heard anything about Terry Flanagan's next opponent? Still Vadejo? It is still Vadejo. Second time, round two. Unless there's a spectacular offer made. It's going to be Felix Vadeo. Yeah, I think it was, the venue. Um, I think it was announced actually on uh, the social media the other day that they were still looking at Vadeo, so pretty much confirmed they've just not set an actual date yet. McLarnock, Bunty's watching. Back, back from his holiday in Bulgaria. He's watching Callum Pearson go about his work here against uh, Sean Gorman. Pearson's trying to cut the ring off now, trying to get to Gorman. Gorman's quite a, a tidy little fight. I know he's got a, a big losing record. He's fought, as you can imagine, he fought the prospects coming through, Stephen Lewis, Shane Singleton, people like that. Remember seeing him a few years ago fighting those guys, but no, he's just slipped effortless back it, effortlessly back into this. He knows his role and he's doing it pretty comfortably, really, isn't he? He's doing a good job. Like I say, cutting the ring down really well, you know, getting some good combinations in. Good uppercut there. Gorman still looking for that counter left. Now a counter right and an uppercut. Uh, Kieran McBarnock's over in Bulgaria watching the stream. I didn't know we had the internet in Bulgaria, Kieran. McCauley's on next, so stay tuned and we'll have a... He's ready to rock and roll, Kieran. Let me show you that. <laughs> Just slipping away from my right hand there, Gorman. Which of these eight rounders are you looking forward to later on? You know, each one of them could easily steal the show, I think. Yeah, I think I think the one for me is going to be Ashley Payton and Bilal Raymond. Yeah. I think it's a battle of two undefeated fighters. Somebody's all, has got to go in this one. Uh, it's quite an early on in the careers as well. I was talking earlier about it. You know, it's you don't really see a lot of fighters going in so soon against each other, you know, undefeated. So I think this one's going to be, you know, potentially fight of the night. But yeah. then you've got Ben Sheedy's fight with Alistair Warren, which you said earlier, that's potentially going to be a street fight. So I think it's, it's hard to say which one's going to be the, you know, the greater of the two fights. But for me, it's going to be Payton and Raymond tonight. Yeah, I, th I think usually when you get British fighters meeting in a, a meaningful time in a meaningful fight, you, I think there's a few concerns about how the styles are going to gel. You know, it could turn messy, but generally when there's two of them, British fighters in a, a meaningful fight it does turn into a pretty good battle later on. Some of the, the, I always say on the VIP shows, the best fights we get are the area titles. Fantastic. Uh, as, soon as, as soon as there's anything on the line, the, the best usually comes out, and we're, we're pretty confident we're going to get some good fights later on. Yeah. I think the thing is, it means a lot to these guys. You know, it's a central area title. It's a great stepping stone for them. It's a great chance to get themselves up to a bigger platform. You know, so you do see a lot of great fights. Certainly do. Don't forget, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Comment on the Facebook stream. As we always say, questions, insults, comments. We read everything out on VIP. Nothing's off limits. Ten seconds, Carlos. Second How would you score this fight so far, John? Uh, it's two rounds to Pearson, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's just whether he can keep this going. You know, he's still maintaining that little bounce he's trying to, isn't he? I, I assume he's had to work on that because I've probably... 
didn't come natural to him looking at the, looking at his debut. Obviously, I've not seen much of his amateur career, I apologise. But he, he's doing quite a good job of keeping it going so far, just yeah. in and out of range. He's trying to utilise the jab really well, you know, setting himself up for a good right over the top. Outweighed by ten pounds tonight, Callum Pearson, which you know he's outweighed in the experience terms by William Warburton on his debut. Out, outweighed by ten pounds tonight, quite a lot. Yeah, but, uh, he's coping with it quite well, I think. You wouldn't have thought so looking at the fight, would you? No, he's, he's managed to keep it range, hasn't he? He's, he's not let um, he's not let Gorman do much mauling and holding and making his weight tell. Great body shot, that. Yeah, he set it up nicely, didn't he? Just faint, a couple of throwaway shots to there and just fought the right round to the body. Nice nice work there by Pearson. It's a good return there from Garman, though. A quite a competitive division. Uh, Pearson is going to stay at light middleweight. Although looking at his weight tonight, 149, he might get down to welter. But um, around the English sort of title level, you know, uh, Matty Ryan just lost his title to Ched Ted Cheers. He actually looked a really good fighter that night. A um, bit disappointed with Matty, really. They never really got into his groove. But uh, light middleweight's quite a competitive division, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's the thing. You know, I think that Matty's got a, a fight coming up, hasn't he? Um, so he'll be back in soon. Um, it's a good division, this. I think Callum, you know, be looking to pick this victory up here tonight and then move on to you know, the next one. Um, so there's a lot of fighters out there you can potentially get matched up again, especially within the northwest. Dorman's output's dropped considerably here, hasn't it? You know, I think he's intent on surviving now. Yeah, I think he's, he's got to the point now where he obviously feels that potentially he's not going to get this one. So he's doing what he can to keep himself in there to not get that knockout. But like you said earlier, he's been out for five years, so what what can you really expect for someone that's been out for that long? I think he's done you know quite well so far. He's thrown a few great counters in there, but other than that, you know, he's, he's started to drop the work rate, like you say. Getting a few new viewers tonight, always good. Paul House and watching the first watching the channel for the first time and we've not made him switch it off yet, so that's always good. Boothy, Gary Booth Senior. Get back to the shows, Boothy. We've got Mark Council who's joined from Platform Performance. A few, of, um, a few of his clients are on the bill tonight. Yeah, Ryan Oliver looked quite good, nice and relaxed earlier on. Got the job done and back in the winner's column. He'll know that first victory is just about three minutes away if he just carries on doing what he's doing. Yeah. I think he's composed himself really well tonight. He's not rushed in. Not made the mistakes he made against Warburton. We use that to just give a plug for the, the fights that are coming up late. Next, actually, William Warburton taking on McCall and McGowan over eight rounds. If William turns up, that's going to be a fight. Uh, that's going to be followed by Kane Garden, as eagerly awaited professional debut. You know, very talented fighter Kane, been getting around the gym sparring. You know, I know he sparred Catterall, Crawler, uh, Billy Rat, Billy the Kid, Raymond. Um, then we're going to get Bill Allen against Ashley Payton, and then Ben Sheedy topping with Bill later tonight. Tell your mate, share the stream around. There's no other boxing tonight, so you're a captive audience. Let's get as many people as we can watching. We had over 100,000 views last time of uh, the Masha Dodd Bill in Birkenhead. Um, Gary Booth is watching Lee, you should be out doing your run. Nice body work there from yeah. Callum. Switching it up really well now. Great variety of punches going in, uppercuts, body shots. Just 
noticed he's got a Manny Pacquiao badge on his shorts, hasn't he, Gorman? Yeah, he has, yeah. Must be a big fan. Yeah. Might see an impersonation in the last minute. Possibly. I think, he, I think he's done well for being five years out. I think Pearson's really took over now this last round. Really working that body. Great throw up a cut there. Yeah, he's done well here, Callum Pearson. He's kept his feet going, he's stuck to the tactics, he's not yet carried away, but he's there. still managed to be aggressive, hasn't he? He's not betrayed his style completely, he's just tightened everything up. Again, great body shots going in from Callum there. Oh, nice, comfortable 40 36 there for me for Callum Pearson. Uh, another, again, another drama free victory from someone returning from a defeat. Ryan Oliver did it before. Callum Pearson's just followed in his footsteps. Yeah, good performance there from Pearson. Like we said, capitalised on the previous mistakes in the Warburton fight. Moved around really, you know, really well tonight. Didn't jump in too much. Used the jab, used the body shots. Threw a few uppercuts in there. You know, good variety of punches. And, you know, it looks to be like a deserved first professional win for Callum Pearson tonight. Just get official confirmation from uh, our MC. Then we're into title Ladies and gentlemen, as both boxes are brought to the centre of the ring for the decision, a nice show of appreciation for both their efforts, please. Well, after four rounds of super middleweight boxing, we ask our scoring referee to decide the contest. Mark Lyson sees it at 40 points to 37 points in favour of our winner. From Barrow in Furness, Callum Pearson! Great victory there for Callum. Must be really happy with his first professional win. Ladies and gentlemen, keep that round of applause going as well for our gallant runner up there from Wales, Sean Goldman.